Staying with the inter-Korean activities held up north, looks like there is a lot more on the schedule for participants from both sides today. But for now, let's focus on the main event held this morning. Wu jong shows us how the 2007 summit agreement anniversary was celebrated. Hundreds of South and North Korean participants from all walks of life filled the auditorium at the People's Culture Palace in Pyongyang on Friday morning. The mass gathering was to celebrate the 11th anniversary of the October 4th declaration, the agreement that came after the second ever inter Korean summit in 2007 by South Korea's late former President Noh Moo Hyun and then North Korean leader Kim Jong il. North Korea ceremonial leader Kim Yong Nam said, putting the past 10 years of confrontation and threat behind them, the two Koreas should now strive to implement the latest summit agreements. The leaders of the North and the South have left an indelible mark on history by having three summits and adopting the historic Panmunjom Declaration and September Joint Declaration. All Korean people in the North, the South and overseas must strive as one to keep with these agreements. Lee Sung-won, who chairs Pyongyang's reunification committee, delivered a similar message, but in a stronger tone laid out specific fields South and North Korea should work on. He pointed to economic cooperation in particular. The two sides have worked to modernize railways and roads. We should hold groundbreaking ceremonies as soon as possible to forcefully implement the September summit agreement. And it's a pity that projects at Kaesong and Mount Kumgang are still halted. There are symbols of inter-Korean cooperation. Seoul's Unification Minister Cho myung gyun briefed the audience on the development in inter-Korean relations across various fields and stressed the two Koreas will be coordinating more closely than ever. The points stipulated in the October 4th declaration are now being practiced through recent joint declarations and inter-Korean relations are improving to a new high level. We have also, for the first time in history, agreed on how to achieve denuclearization. South and North Korea will make every step together to build peace on our lands. The mass gathering lasted for an hour and a half with more addresses by representatives from the South and North. After the event, key representatives from the two Koreas, including Pyongyang's nominal head of state Kim Yong-nam and Seoul's unification minister Cho Myung-gyun, met separately once again to reaffirm their vow towards achieving peace and prosperity on the Korean peninsula. Woo Jung-hee, Arirang News.